Hey there, my name is Alexander, and in this video, I'm going to show you three things that you can do today to help you bring in more customers to your business. And you're most likely asking yourself, why would I be doing this and what's in it for me? And well, the answer is oftentimes in the world of internet, most local business owners are too busy running their business to learn how the internet can benefit them and their company. And sometimes, really, the only hesitation they have to hiring someone is that they're not sure who is a real professional and who isn't. And I found that by giving people an easy free attack plan of actual things they can do to impact their business for free has resulted in many business owners saying, hey, Alex, I like what you're doing. Please do this for me. So if by the end of the video you like what you heard, and you can see that this type of service can exponentially grow your business, then shoot me a message back and we can chat. Or, if at the end of the video, you simply just want to take the free attack plan, that works for me as well. So now, let me show you three things that will set your company above your competition and not waste any more of your time. First things first, Google likes content, citations, and backlinks. So in terms of content, Sites need 1,500 words at least to be fully optimized, all right? This right here is uh, MHI Windows. So this is them right here, mhiwindows.com. So they're doing pretty well organically wise. However, they're not on the Google Map Pack, we call it, all right? So as far as their content goes, uh it's definitely you know they have a nice looking site now and i would say they have about 1200 words or so however they definitely don't have 1500 words like i said you need at least 1500 words to be optimized with google all right so just to give you an idea of why content is so important to google let's search up a random term all right it can literally be any term you want all right, so let's search up uh, California. All right, so as you can see right here, California, we're going to be looking at Wikipedia in particular. So as you can see right here, the number two. All right, so let's search up another random term, Nevada. All right, so as you can see right here, the number two, once again, Wikipedia, top result. All right, just one more, just to set things straight here. All right, let's search up Alaska. I don't know. It can be any term. I'm just looking up states right now. All right, so once again, Wikipedia, top result. See, the reason Wikipedia is always in the top results is because they have strong, I mean, look at all this content just for Alaska. And it's unique because it just talks about, you know, Alaska's film and television, its music, its culture, its ed education, and so forth. And it's authoritative because this is written just for Alaska, you know. This is not copy and pasted off of another site and then put on here, all right. So that would be called plagiarizing. And Google does not look upon that well at all. You'll never rank on the first page if you do that. So when we're writing your content we're gonna have to write about who what when and where all right so uh we're gonna have to put down that you know you do window installation in los angeles uh window replacement and you know so forth all the services that you perform all right so that's the thing with content at least 1500 words to be optimized that leads me to my next point which is citations so if you want to be on the Google Map Pack right here, which is where a good majority or a good portion of the traffic comes from, you're going to want to have more citations, which is your business name, address, and phone number. All right. We're going to be looking at line windows and doors in specific. So their phone number is 310-800-1585. So line windows and doors, 300-800-1585. So they only have 20, 
26 citation sources, meaning that their business name, address, and phone number is only listed 26 times throughout the whole web. So, I mean, you can easily try to do this by yourself, and I'm totally cool with that. I mean, that's what I'm, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help. All right. So this tool that I use, it's called Local Citation Finder by WhiteSpark. Cost me about three eighty five a year. So you know that's pretty inexpensive. And as far as their citation sources, I mean, you can just go to Facebook, Bing, Yelp, MapQuest, and so forth, and just list your business name, address, and phone number there. However, you just don't want to match them. You want to take them by a landslide. I'm talking about two to three inches more. That way you'll show Google you are the dominant authority in your particular market. All right. So if you beat them in citations, that'll ensure that you're right here on this Google map pack. All right. So the next important thing would be backlinks, also known as link choose. All right. So as far as uh, MHI windows goes, that particular page we're looking at, they have different locations. So that would be in particular to Los Angeles. However, they get most of their link juice from their main page. All right. So their main page is pretty, pretty dominant, pretty strong. It'll definitely take some work, but it's definitely doable. Okay. So they have a trust flow of 14 and a citation flow of 28. 3,470 backlinks and 199 referring domains. So that's definitely beatable, like I said. And just to give you an idea of how they rank up against the number one perform performing site on the web, which is Google. I mean, Google has 100 flow, trust flow, and 95 citation flow, 21 million referring domains, and 36 billion external backlinks. So like I said, they're definitely beatable. Uh, it's, you know, nothing, nothing crazy. And just to give you a further breakdown of how backlinks work, let's say this is site A, and then let's say this is site B. Okay. So let's say site A points to site B. So site A would be acting like the link juice which would give site B more authority in Google's eyes. So the more sites that you have pointing at you, the better. So like I said, it comes down to a popularity contest. However, you just don't want any random site pointing at you. You want sites relevant to what you do and where you are pointing at you. So in this case, you want window replacement companies, window installation companies, uh, companies based out of Los Angeles and California, and so forth okay so mhi windows right here they have a a children project site pointing at them so i mean that's not re really relevant to what they do they have a home improvement in costa mesa california that's pretty relevant to what they do it's a it's a pretty good backlink they have yellow pages that's a pretty good backlink home guide window glass replacement cost that's a really good backlink and uh Metro Plitin. So this is a really good one as well. All right. And then all these right here, they're just, they're not all that good. So you can pretty much get a backlink from anywhere. You can get a local chamber of commerce site, uh, backlink pointing at you. That's a really good one. You can have a Facebook pointing at you. You can have a local window replacement company pointing at you or just a, just another local Los Angeles company pointing at you. So like I said, you want to stay relevant to what you do and where your service is performed. Okay. And just to give you an idea of what you're missing out on by not having a strong online presence on Google, just check this out right here. All right. So on a monthly basis, 50 people search for window installation, Los Angeles, California. Window Glass Repair Los Angeles, that's already 100, 100 people looking for your particular service. Glass Repair West Los Angeles, that's already 140. Home Window Glass Repair Los Angeles, that's already 160. So that's 160 people. 
And let's just say you get 20. 20, just 20 out of those 160. And let's say the average ticket price is uh, 6,000. So that's an extra 120,000 people that are that are looking for your particular service that you're missing out on by not having a strong online presence. However, don't take that wrong at all. From now in 90 days, we'll be that dominant force, okay? And just to recap on everything we just went over, like I said, you need 1,500 words at least. Citations, if you wanna be on this Google Map Pack, you wanna have two to 300 more to beat out your competition by a landslide. And the link juice. So you need more relevant sites pointing to you to show Google you are the authority. And if you implement these strategies today, you can be number one across Google from now in about 90 days. So this process takes about 90 days. It can, it can always be more, but it can always be less. It just depends on how much money you wanna put into it. But on average, it's about 90 days. And you can either go off with the information I gave you and do this on your own, and I'm totally cool with that. However, if you want the most effective route and you want to save yourself the time and resources, then give me a call back at 805-266-4660. Once again, my name is Alexander and my phone number is 805-266-4660. I look forward to working with you. Thank you and have a great one.